if you look at the way we teach middle school students about cells, it's horrifying to a scientist. For no fault of their own, they think of cells as absolutely boring boxes. This is what my grandson said at age 12, because he had an exam and he was asking me for help. I said, well, let's back up. What's a cell? He said, a cell is a box, and it has all these named parts in it, and I have to learn all the names. But he failed to grasp the fundamental thing that the cell is a self-replicating chemical system. Think about how hard it is to do this. <laughs> How would you make a self-replicating robot? So what would the robot have to do to make another robot just like itself? It's really the most amazing thing on Earth to me. This is Bruce Alberts. He's had a long career. As a biochemist, he made fundamental discoveries about how DNA replicates. He wrote this influential textbook on molecular biology. He was the editor-in-chief of Science Magazine and the president of the National Academy of Sciences. These days, he's focused on science education. And he's not just motivated by a love of the discipline. <laughs> anger, anger and fear are the strongest <laughs> emotions, <laughs> but they're not very productive. <laughs> Alberts wants to overhaul the way science is taught. Science should really be taught as a way of problem solving that works in any part of your life. It's not a body of facts to be memorized. You know, facts you can Google. What you need to do is be able to think. And this isn't just about kids. We would like all adults through their education to learn to be rational, evidence-seeking, wise decision-making people because everybody's trying to fool you. <laughs> They're trying to get your vote, trying to get your money. Individual has to make decisions all the time about what's true and what's not true. So my dream is science education could help with that all around the world. The idea is that science education has the power to help us see things as they are. To suss out the swindlers and charlatans. To help us make better decisions and to live more rationally. And the world's a very dangerous place without rational thinking. <laughs>